The Ethiopian Prime Minister's office has confirmed that the army chief and regional president were killed in an attack. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed appeared on state television to declare that Ethiopia's army chief of staff had been shot dead. Appearing in military fatigues, he made the announcement about Sierre Mekonen being shot following unrest in the northern Amhara region. While appearing on state television, the Prime Minister announced that the head of Ethiopia's Amhara regional state and his advisor were killed during an attempted coup. Mr. Ahmed was elected last year and has moved to end political repression in Ethiopia. He has released political prisoners, removed bans on political parties and prosecuted officials accused of rights abuses. But ethnic violence has also been on the rise in the country since his coming to power. More than a million people have been displaced by ethnic clashes. Yeah, Ethiopia has a fine guy. ወንድሞቹ Internet services have been cut in Ethiopia where the residents in Bahirdar hearing heavy gunfire. The U.S. Embassy issued an alert about the reported gunfire in the capital Addis Ababa and violence around Bahirdar. Earlier, Abi's office had announced that an attempted coup had taken place in Amhara, one of the nine autonomous regions of the country. India's 1990 emergency ambulance service in Sri Lanka is now available throughout the eight provinces of the Indian Ocean Island country. The ambulance service played a crucial role in the aftermath of the recent terror attacks in Sri Lanka. The last phase of that project was launched in the eastern province of the country. A video message by India's external affairs minister Dr. S.J. Shankar was also played in which he described the feat as a great example of what India and Sri Lanka can achieve together. The ambulance service can be obtained by dialing toll-free number 1900. The service came into existence in July 2016 with its launch in southern and western provinces of the country. The initial grant was provided by India to the tune of $7.5 million. It was later expanded phase-wise from May 2017. This is the largest Indian grant project in the island country. With that.